Over recent days, I had the opportunity to sit down with the CEO of Northern Pacific Airways, Rob McKinney, and discuss all things Northern Pacific. The full interview will air as a podcast on streaming platforms and YouTube this coming Wednesday, the 29th of June at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, before you do hear the whole thing, we did talk a ton about the status of the airline and what is generally next, with the focus centering around route news, future aircraft, and launch plans. Let's begin right off the bat with the launch. Rob notes that Northern Pacific targets a November launch, specifically eyeing the 15th of that month. The carrier is currently in talks with Incheon Airport in South Korea. They've made significant progress also in negotiations with this specific airport during the recent week where there was a slot conference. While also they're already looking very, very solid for Tokyo Narita with that pretty much firmed up now. Depending on how Incheon goes, the airline may look towards bringing forward a launch to Osaka earlier than first expected. Osaka has and is a destination that has always been in the airline's plans. However, the launch is going to potentially be earlier than what they were first shooting for, an encouraging sign. Regarding more domestic services, Oakland is a destination the airline will serve to connect the San Francisco Bay Area, while conversations are progressing well with Harry Reid Airport in Las Vegas. Having just received their Open Skies Authority from the US DOT only a couple of days ago, it's another significant milestone as noted by Rob for the airline in getting them finally airborne. Regarding the aircraft, many people when Northern Pacific is mentioned do think the Boeing 757, and it's correct, this aircraft is vital to their operations. The airline does want to keep these through to the late 2020s if possible, however the question remains and one question I've had from you, the community that was put forward to Rob McKinney, is how they would be planning on upkeeping them, naturally of course, as they continue to age. The airline, according to Rob McKinney, is actually very, very close and only moments away from signing a crucial agreement with Delta Tech Ops. Being experts of the Boeing 757, as we know, their support will be absolutely vital to be handling the maintenance of these older aircraft. For launch, though, they will be likely having to bring in external aircraft on a lease, but will have their own operating domestically, and the reasoning behind this is as they look to secure ETOPS following the closure of Russian airspace, which has definitely thrown a bit of a curveball to them. What is after the Boeing 757? Well, Rob McKinney notes that he is in constant talks with both Airbus and Boeing, with both manufacturers talking future of aircraft. However, the MAX 7, part of the 737 MAX family, has been earmarked as one prime candidate for these services. While the ability of the A321 XLR could come later down the line, it would be very much labelled as overkill. The A321LR therefore could be a more feasible option for the short-term fix. I talked all things Russian airspace, alliances, routes, and more with Rob in a just over 16-minute interview, so do stay tuned, as I said, for the full interview to air this week. In the meantime, do let me know your thoughts down in the comments on the latest at Northern Pacific Airways as we rapidly approach that launch.